we're only halfway through 2022 and it's already been jam-packed with major television releases. In fact, there's been a flux of new dramas that took the world by storm, such as Heartstopper, as well as the latest seasons of our beloved shows. So if you don't know which show to start, you're in luck. We've compiled a list of the newest dramas that are absolutely breathtaking. First off, Stranger Things 4. With the volume two of Stranger Things season four already out, what could be the better time than to catch up on this insane phenomenon? Set in the 80s, this beloved sci-fi Netflix series has turned out to be a huge pop culture phenomenon. In fact, it's a truly word of mouth hit as fans from around the globe have become obsessed with the strange things happening in Hawkins, Indiana. While the memification of the series major sometimes distract us from the fact that it's a fun, warm, and scary show filled with terrifying monsters, plucky kids, and laugh out loud moments from the very beginning and continuing all the way through second and third seasons. It originally focused on the threat of a monster breaking through from another dimension and clashing with a telekinetic young girl named Eleven. But now the Stranger Things universe has expanded to feature teen romance, puberty, grief, telepathic mind flayers, and 80s fashion. Wait, did we mention how incredible the soundtrack is? Not only do they do a rousing rendition of Never Ending Story, but also featuring Running Up the Hill by Kate Bush this season was literally a moment. Secondly, Yellow Jackets. Now, this show was the most unexpected hit of the year, but the worst thing is, we won't get to watch any more of it. The show follows two timelines of the same characters while offering us a perfect blend of genre and setting. First up, we have the younger version of the characters who find themselves stranded after their plane crashes on the way to a soccer tournament. Then we have the older version of the same characters who are navigating through life, families, and careers. But they've this lingering feeling that their past won't stay buried for long and everyone will soon be forced to face the real consequences. It has a solid cast we've seen in a long time, but it's safe to say that Melanie Linsky, who plays the elder Shauna, steals each and every scene. The story is thrilling and the characters are emotional, which increases the tensions with every passing episode. By the time you get done with the show, you'll be surprised at how quickly the time has passed and you'll be craving for more. Next up, Arcane. Who would have thought that an adaptation from a video game would turn out to be one of the best shows of the decade? The show is definitely a League of Legends series as it features some of the most beloved characters and locations from the game. And rather than being constrained by the game's rule, the writers have created an original story that explores the themes of social inequality and how the threat of war can affect people's lives. The story revolves around a feud between two sisters named Jinx, voiced by Ella Purnell, and V, voiced by Haley Steinfeld, which raises the stakes of war even more. And because the show is more focused on developing a compelling story than selling a game, we get amazing results in the form of an addictive show that anyone can enjoy. Now, add in an innovative animation style and you get the perfect TV show to binge watch. Now, Heartstopper. This new LGBTQ plus show has turned out to be yet another major hit for Netflix. In fact, it's captured the hearts of millions from across the globe, as the story focuses on the lives of Nick Nelson and Charlie Spring, who go from being best friends to boyfriends over the period of a fateful school term. The show forgoes the sex, drugs, and misery of edgier high school students like in Euphoria. So here we get an all-ages approach that perfectly makes up for the lack of dramatic stakes with ultimate cuteness. And you won't even realize how quickly you get done with the show as each episode is only 25 minutes long. This means you can easily watch the series in a day, and you probably will if you're a hopeless romantic like us. Although the show has a completely new cast featuring Kit Connor and Joe Locke, you can still expect to see major cameos from A-listers. But with the huge success of season one, we can expect to see more of these newcomers in the upcoming years. In fact, a trans actress, Yasmin Fenny, who plays Elle on the show, has already been cast in the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who. What's even more amazing is that Netflix just renewed the show for two more seasons, so you have plenty of time to catch up on the show if you haven't already. Now, only murders in the building. Here, we have the unlikely trio of a struggling former producer Oliver, played by Martin Short, an aged former TV star named Charles, played by Steve Martin, and young and free-spirited Mabel, played by our beloved Selena Gomez. They all find common ground when they coincidentally meet in the building in which they live. They're completely different people, but they have one common passion, which is their obsession with true crime. When a man ends up dead in the building and the police rule it as suicide, the three just can't make peace with it and think there's more to the story than what it looks like. So they start their own investigation, which turns into a project of amateurs who think they can solve the case by listening to true crime podcasts. 
Believe us, it's really funny and ridiculous at times, and a true murder mystery that'll make you keep guessing till the very end. The second season of the show is already on air and has been getting rave reviews like the first one. Then, The Boys. This Amazon superhero show is the ideal blend of prestige television program in the form of a well-developed serialized network drama. Based on the comic book of the same name, it takes place in a world where the superheroes are not only real but also celebrities. But turns out, most of them are high on their powers and start to commit atrocities all the time with no fear of any major consequences. Now enter the boys, who are a fierce group of regular humans with their own personal grudges against the superhero team known as the Seven. The show can get extremely violent and it's filled with dark humor, so definitely not made for the kids. But it's really more thoughtful than you'd expect, as it takes on several important topics such as fame, capitalism, and even sexual misconduct. The show may get really dark at some points, but overall it's really fun. The third season of the show is on air and already nearing the finale. In fact, it's been trending since the premiere. Did we mention the Umbrella Academy? It takes place in a world where 43 women give birth at the same time, even though none of them had shown any signs of pregnancy. Sounds weird, right? Hold on as it gets even wilder from here. What happens is an eccentric billionaire named Sir Reginald Hargreaves adopts seven of these children and trains them to become superheroes under his strict guidance. The show begins with these seven siblings reuniting as adults after the unexpected death of Hasgraves. Not only they have to deal with the trauma caused by Hargreaves' strict parenting, but also prevent the apocalypse from happening in just eight days in order to avoid the wrath of a secret time travel agency who wants to protect their version of timeline. You know, just completely normal family issues. The show has continued to maintain its uniqueness throughout this era of television that has been saturated with on-screen superheroes. But the best thing is it lives up to the hype as it'll make you stay hooked to your screens from one episode to another to see what new trouble the Hargreaves kids have to go through next. Well, the show's message is clear. All that mind control, necromancy, and super strength in the world won't mess you up the way your family does. And amid all that chaos, death, and dark jokes, there's something really sweet about it that makes you hungry for more. The third season of the show just debuted on Netflix and it's already caused a huge stir on social media. And finally, Miss Marvel. Marvel Marvel Studios has continued its streak of developing television series based on a number of characters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So after the huge success of WandaVision, Loki, and Moon Knight, Ms. Marvel is their seventh show, which features Ayman Vellani in the lead role. The story revolves around Kamala, who's a Muslim-American teenager and a huge superhero fan. Suddenly, her dreams turn into reality when she develops superpowers. Or are they? We see Kamala navigate through school life and try to deal with troubles and challenges caused by her newfound abilities. That's a wrap for this video. Have you been following any of these shows? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and exciting videos. See you in the next one!